I mean, again, he, he doesn't... All right, I hope my voice is coming good and clear for you guys in Ramble. And right now we are in the same time in uh, uh, Discord. I don't know why they call it Discord. I'm not sure. So today we are going to talk a little bit about this lady, if we can call her a lady. Uh, and we will continue what we do as usual speaking about the madness of Islam and why Islam is invalid we are not out of the topic still we are speaking about the same topic all those things are connected to each other and uh, you know there's many foolish people these days they claim to be conservative but obviously they are the anti anti-conservative everything they stand for is evil and ugly uh, like, you know, Tucker Carlson, he claimed to be conservative, yet he go and meet with the pimp, uh, Andrew Tate. And uh, maybe some will say, so what? No, this is a big deal. This guy is accused. He have, he have tons of videos of himself bragging about how he abuse and use women. So you claim to be a journalist, and then you meet someone from that level, you must be from the same level. You know, when I agree... And I agree with you. It's not like I'm going to criticize the person. No, I go and we in total agreement of everything he say and I say. Like we are in love. So those people are not conservative. And this woman is no different. And this is what we will be, you know, discussing today. Uh, I hope my voice is coming uh, good in Rambol. Am I uh, coming to you guys in Rambol? Do you hear me? Am I heard? <clears throat> Let me know, please, if you have any difficulty from your side. Uh, let us see. All right, I think we are good in Ramble. At the same time, we are in uh, Discord. If you like to join us in Discord, you can go to Patreon. Um, and you can click at the link for the event, and you can be with us immediately if you have an account. So let us not to waste time and go and see what this woman she said. Uh, and we will discuss what she said, you know, and you will see, you don't have to agree with me, you know, <clears throat> I don't want people to agree with me blindly or to agree with anyone blindly. We have to think and we have to, uh, uh, you know, be smart and discuss carefully what people say to us. So I will start not from the beginning because in the beginning she is just promoting as usual. They cannot even start a video without buying, selling, pay the promotion. They cannot, you know, it's a must. All right, so you guys may have seen some of this on my Instagram stories this morning because I woke up and I was so frustrated and also incensed when I saw a clip circulating from our show and people were tagging me and saying stuff like this. Look at this Instagram post. Uh, by the way, guys, do you hear the video in Discord? Can you hear the video? Can you hear the sound from Discord? You can't hear? No? Oh, all right. That's an issue then. We have to do something about it. Hmm. Okay. All right. Hmm. What we shall do? There is an audio sitting here to link the sound from Discord. Where is the audio sitting? I will try to see the audio if there is an option for audio. Uh, let's see. Okay, voice and video. <clears throat> Output. All right, let us see. Let me try the video again and see the sound. Post. This person writes, well done, at Real Candace Owens. Uh -huh. Keep confirming your true colors, and you can go and join your BFF. Uh, still not coming. Okay, let us see. I'm trying to change the sound. Uh, let us see if we do it here.
F at Kanye West with your anti. Mm, more than C's too. <clears throat> I'm trying to change the output. <clears throat> okay, let's see this one here. High Semitic stance against Israel. Uh, I don't know. The output. Hmm. <clears throat> what if we try this? Let's see. Yeah. And then you can see that they have. Yeah, it doesn't matter what <clears throat> what I choose, it still is not allowing me to do anything. You, you, did you hear anything while I was uh, working in the... No, no, I'm not saying about my microphone, I'm saying about the video I'm playing. Did you hear the video I'm playing? You don't hear it. All right, so what we will do... <clears throat> uh, yeah. Um, hmm. Okay, it is a switch then. That is really a problem, how we can do that. Well, maybe then, maybe, just until I finish this video, just temporarily, you guys, you can go to Rumble, you know, open the sound there. Just until, until I finish talking about this video, if you don't mind. You do not need to log in in Rumble. You do not need to log in. But still you can hear it, you know. You can mute me here and listen to me there until I finish there, the video. And you can uh, listen to me back here when a Muslim call. Or you can stay listening there. It's up to you. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So we will play the video from the beginning, her video, which is going to show for you in Rumble. All right, so you guys may have seen some of this on my Instagram stories this morning because I woke up and I was so frustrated and also incensed when I saw a clip circulating from our show and people were tagging me and saying stuff like this. Look at this Instagram post. This person writes, well done at Real Candace Owens. Keep confirming your true colors. And if you cannot watch in Rumble, I will give you the video I'm watching in YouTube so you can have an idea. All right, what we can do, I mean, I will see how I can fix this issue later. Maybe I need to buy uh, some uh, uh, mixer or something. I already have a mixer, but I know it's not working. It's not leaking the sound. And it's not allowing me to share the screen. I cannot share the screen. You know, if I try to click in it, share your screen, it says you cannot. So I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so this lady, uh, uh, Candanus, <clears throat> uh, she posted, uh, she made a post, she made a quote actually, uh, about supporting Israel. And this is what we will talk about. All right, so you guys may have seen some of this on my Instagram <clears throat> stories this morning because I woke up and I was so frustrated and also incensed when I saw a clip circulating from our show. You know what, let me see if I can unblock temporarily my, but I'm afraid that will make everything messed up too. People in Rumble will have a problem to hear me. Yeah, that's really an issue. I'm just trying to leak the sound for you. Uh, hmm. Give me a second. If we go to setting, <clears throat> we go to audio. Yeah, I guess I have no choice, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> I will not be able to play the audio from the video for you. But you can watch it with me. This is the only way, but I can do or you go to Rumble. And people were tagging me and saying stuff like this. Look at this Instagram post. Yeah, look. This person writes, well done, at Real Candace Owens. Keep confirming your true colors and you can go and join your BFF at Kanye West with your anti-Semitic stance against Israel. 
And then you can see that they have taken a clip from the show. Obviously, it's completely out of context, and that's the point of it. And they've even painted a clown face onto me. And then the person writes over that clip, clown Candace Owens, Israel's Super Bowl hostage ads were propaganda as Netanyahu bombs a refugee camp. Why would we call our rep to do something that has nothing to do with America? By the way, that is an actual quotation that I did say. Why would we call our reps to do something that has nothing to do with America? So just to recap, because as I said, I all right, I put the little speaker from my headphone on the microphone. I hope you were able to hear it. So look what she said, this idiot. She is saying she is against the post is made by some people to support Israel. And she is so angry and she said, why we why you are telling us to go and call senators to support Israel? Why we need to support something have nothing to do with America? Why we need to support something have nothing to do with America? Let me play it for you again. From the show, obviously, it's completely out of context, and that's the point of it. And they've even painted a clown face onto me. And then the person writes over that clip, clown Candace Owens, Israel's Super Bowl hostage ads were propaganda as Netanyahu bombs a refugee camp. Why would we call our rep to do something that has nothing to do with America? By the way, that is an actual quotation that I did say. Why would we call our reps to do something that has nothing to do with America? So just to read this is stupid idiot. She forgot that in America, we have many as American, we have many hostages right now in Gaza. So obviously, she claimed to be the one who knows everything. Her and Tucker Carson. So obviously, kidnapping American by Hamas have nothing to do with America. Imagine if the one is kidnapped as her or her daughter or her son. Do you see how stupid this is? How, how idiot? So the American hostages have nothing to do with America? Okay, you don't care about Israel? No problem. What about the American hostages? This is how evil they are. They hate Israel and they hate the Jews. And you will notice that all of them, those one line, Andrew Tates, Tucker Carson, this woman, there is one thing, make them one team. They hate Israel. All of them agree about one thing. They hate Israel and they hate Ukraine. And they support Putin and they support Islam. Let us hear more. Maybe she can explain herself. Recap, because as I said, obviously this was taken out of context. People don't know what show this is from. Does it matter which show? Does it really matter? Taken out of context, she's playing the game of Muslim. You are taking it out of context. You say that clearly, why, what, what we have to do with Israel, why we should support Israel. It doesn't matter what show is, is that. And the ad is not about just, you know, they are asking people, call your senators, what's your problem? The Muslim, they have a thousand videos in YouTube saying, strike, protest, you know, they are going in the street by a thousand, you did not get angry. People also who are circling this clip. No, she is a bro Islam. She is a bro Islam big time. Didn't she go to meet Andrew Tetz, who converted to Islam? And she is asking him what you can advise us as a Christians. What are you talking about? If Andrew Tetz, the, 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 the porn star, the pimp, the one who have thousands of videos about manipulating women, is her guideline. She went all the way to Romania and they agree about everything. They talk about marriage, about why people are not getting married. And you know, he is, he, he, you know, he became the trophy for her. And you are telling me she is not a brute Islam? Don't listen to my podcast. And the purpose of them doing that sort of underhanded trick is to make them angry, even if they don't really know necessarily what they're angry about. Now, for those of you that listen to my show, you know that as a regular beat, 
we constantly talk about the emotional engineering in our society, the emotional Amer- engineering that's taking place in American society. Emotional engineering. Isn't this what you are doing? Emotional engineering. But you know what? I, I did not understand this word. Maybe it's very heavy for me. Somebody saying to me in the chat, uh, I am a Christian, but I have been getting a lot of questions about 20,000 women and children killed in Israel. First of all, who gave you the numbers? Hamas? Secondly, let us say the one who killed in Israel in, in Gaza is a million, is two million. Is that the fault of Israel? Are you stupid or what? So you go, you come to my town, you kill my women, you rape my children, and you take hundred with you as slaves. And then I go back to fight you. And then you fight from behind the schools and houses and under houses and under mosque. And then I shoot at you. And then you shoot at me. And then many with civilian die and then you play me. Do you see how stupid you are? So we blame the Jews for the crimes of Hamas and the crime of those called Palestinians? Why Israel did not go before October 7 and kill them all? Why they were not doing anything for the last 20 years? 20 years they left Hamas alone. And I like it when somebody says I'm a Christian. How come you are a Christian, but you don't know how to answer the question? If the, if the Japanese did not attack the American, the American will not be using nuke against the Japanese. As simple as that. Who did invite Japan to attack America? Did the American send them a ticket says, hey, come attack us? How many women and children did die by the nuke? Nuke, it's a nuke. It's just, it's not an RBG or a bombing or smart uh, rocket, it's a nuke. So if the Japanese never attack America, Japan will never be attacked. As simple as that. And now this woman, she is explaining to you emotional manipulation. Explain to us more, please. I don't know what this word means. It is too big, it's, it's, it's above my rank. Oh, that as a regular beat, we constantly talk about the emotional engineering in our society, the emotional Amer engineering that's taking place in American society that's meant to make us want to support causes, whether it's at home, like you should feel bad for an illegal alien. Guys, when she started her, uh, uh, her video, what she did, she starts supporting causes. And look what she is wearing. Almost her breast is coming out. If you are standing in front of her, you can see her breast. What is the first and the start of your, your video? It's, it says in the corner, pay the promotion. She support baby, but she make advertising and she get paid for it. This episode is brought to you by Preborn. For just $28, you could be the difference between the life or death of a baby. Hmm. Isn't it, this is emotional? Manipulation? So now you are making people believe guilty if they don't give it 20 dollars to to someone we do not know. This is exactly what emotional manipulation is. You can make a difference between life and death. She slammed you in the face. If you don't give it 20 dollars now, you are killing babies. But she's talking about emotional manipulation. And I assure you that she herself, she will never give the 20 dollars. But she got paid for the promotion. Promotion. Tell us more about em emotional uh, manipulation. Sort of underhanded trick is to make them angry, even if they don't really know necessarily what they're angry about. Now, for those of you that listen to my show, you know <laughs> that as a regular beat, we constantly talk about the emotional engineering in our society, the emotional Amer engineering that's taking place in American society that's meant to make us want to support causes, whether it's at home, like you should feel bad for an illegal alien and we should be funding this even though it is to our detriment or and especially abroad.
It gets especially senseless when we are being emotionally manipulated to want to support causes overseas. And I didn't support our money being sent to Afghanistan. I did not support our money being sent. Since when the American, they send money to Afghanistan, you idiot. We send money to our troops in Afghanistan. Our troops was there. We are occupying the country. We were occupying the country, the whole country. What this woman is talking about? So we stop sending money to our troops who supposedly they are running the country? Do you see the stupidity? You don't support who else? Sent to Ukraine. I did not support, therefore, our money being sent to Israel. And I... And look here, she made she made it as support, sending money to Afghanistan as if we are sending money to Muslims. This is not true. Same time, she did not support Ukraine. But this is the same reason, actually, I see it. She don't like to support Israel because the president of Ukraine is a Jew. Those are, for sure, anti-Semitic people. You will notice that they share one thing. And the funny is, from their propaganda, Tucker Carlson and her, they claim that they're Ukrainian, they are themselves are fascist and Nazi, when the president himself is a Jew. I mean, do you, can you believe how, how big the joke is? The president himself is a Jew, and they are Nazi. Tell us about Ukraine. I've especially been harsh when it comes to Ukraine. When that conflict broke out, don't forget, Ukraine was doing so much propaganda at that time, particularly Zelensky. Remember this photo that I absolutely lambasted? It, Zelensky with his wife for Vogue. What is that? What? So this this picture of Zelensky with his wife for vote is a propaganda? Why the wife is naked or he is a stripping? Hold on, hold on. Let me play it for you again. Sorry, guys. I moved the microphone away from that. <laughs> emotional engineering in our society, the emotional Amer engineering that's taking place in American society that's meant to make us want to support causes, whether it's at home, like you should feel bad for an illegal alien and we should be funding this, even though it is to our detriment or and especially abroad. It gets especially senseless when we are being emotionally manipulated to want to support causes overseas. And I didn't support our money being sent to Afghanistan. I did not support our money being sent to Ukraine. I did not support, therefore, our money being sent to Israel. And I've especially been harsh when it comes to Ukraine. Why, when that why? conflict broke out, don't forget, Ukraine was doing so much propaganda at that time. You know, when the conflict broke out, Ukraine at that time was doing so much propaganda. Hmm, they must be bad people. What is the propaganda exactly? Explain to us. Particularly Zelensky, you remember this photo? Yeah. That I absolutely lambasted. Zelensky with his wife we for Vogue. What is that? Why are you on the cover of Vogue if you are in a very serious war? First of all, it's not him who is posting it to stupid. Secondly, what's wrong with the picture? And if this is a for a vote, so she support Trump. She support Trump. Let me show you what Trump he do for election, shall we? And then we compare between what this guy he did and what Trump he do. Welcome to Trump, Dole. And did you notice who it is? No. That's right, none other than the man who will make this country great once again. Tagline. I'll be back in 2024. This Trumpinator bobblehead is a rare collectible, and patriots are scarfing them up like crazy. Really? So grab yours now. So the stupid, this woman, she is not upset from Trump selling shoes and the bobblehead? Trump bobblehead? I mean, are you sure? So Trump bobblehead? For election, for vote is okay. But this guy, he is posting his picture with his wife and he is doing nothing wrong. It's just a picture. It's a propaganda. It's emotional manipulation. 
Who is talking about emotional manipulation? The women she went all the way to meet with the one who speak about how emotional manipulation work to make women work for you as sex sleep and tits. Is that correct? As long as you are against emotional manipulation, how come you did meet the biggest scam in history who scam women and he made them work for porn? He monopolized them, he promised them marriage, he spoke about love, and then what he do? He lured them into sex business. And this woman, she is against what? Emotional manipulation. What else? Tell us more. Tell us, tell us more. You shouldn't make time for this. And then, of course, we had the Associated Press, and he was all dressed up in army fatigues. Again. So the guy, he hugged his wife. He is a emotional manipulation. The guy, he struck, he's dressed like an army. He is doing an army manipulation, an emotional manipulation. So what do you want him to do, be Tarzan? I mean, what does this guy, he do? Look, she is not talking about politics. She is talking about a guy. And this guy, what we are talking about, is not he's naked or wearing bikini. The guy is taking a picture next to his wife. Imagine how disgusting this. Imagine. Can't you be more serious? Okay, now the guy, he go and he dress and he wear a uniform. Is she happy? She just said, shouldn't be he's wearing uniform? So he dress uniform. And now she is attacking him because he's wearing uniform. And there is sandbags behind him. And this is emotional manipulation. What do you want the guy to do? What do you want him to do to be a good guy for you? Obviously, it doesn't matter what he do. Trump, he danced in the stage. Biden, he danced in the stage. Trump, he's selling shoes. Shoes. Gold bar. Trump coins. She is not upset. This is not emotional manipulation, taking the money of people who support him. But this guy, he take a picture in front of his office. He is doing emotional manipulation. What's your problem? Imagine she did not say about Ukraine that Ukraine is doing bad. She is now just angry because the way he dress, the way he take a picture. And that make him a bad person. But her friend Andrew Tetz, who speak, anyone can give me a video of Andrew Tetz about how he fool women, so we can play it, to show everybody how this woman, she is so filthy. She went to Andrew Tetz and she agreed with him about everything he said. She did not say no, no to him, to anything. The guy who lure women into sex and porn is her best example of the best man. He is the best man. He's the real man. I searched for his name actually to find a video about him in appointing women. I got the porno website. I can't show it to you. I close it. I just type Andrew Tate manipulating women. I got a porno site. This is what happened when you when you search for a pimp. Porn. So this is the problem with this guy? And emotional manipulation. He's not fighting on the front lines. Why is he wearing? He is not fighting in the front line. Why he is using an, uh, an army? Have you ever, when the last time you heard that the president, he will go and fight in the front line, you stupid idiot. When the last time Trump, he went to the front line. Did George Bush go to the front line? Did Reagan go to the front line? Did uh, Obama go to the front line? I mean, are you stupid or what? He should go to the front line. In fact, I never saw a president. I never saw a president. He go to the front line as this man. If you type right now, his name. Visit the front line. You will find it a thousands of times he went there, which is a stupid, by the way, for me. I don't support such a move. This is not a brave thing. This is stupid because you are the leader of the country and you should not go there. 
the Russian can target you. They can target your phone. They can find you. Somebody report you. Somebody, they have spies. Look how many pictures of him, this guy in the front line. What do you want him to do? He go to the most dangerous areas to support his men. And remember, this guy is an actor. He never served the army. He never been in the army. He never held a gun. When I saw him first time, I said, this guy is a kid. I mean, he don't even fit to be a president. But I respected him when he refused to run away. The American, the stupid American, they told him, run away. We will give you a refugee, you and your family. He refused. The Russian, they were, they were not only coming to Ukraine, to Ukraine, they are, they just entered into Kiev. They entered the capital. He refused to run. You can check every one of those pictures and you will see they are in different occasion, different place, different date. And she said you should be in the front line. What's your business? So this is why we should not support Ukraine. Just to let you know how stupid those people are. USA signed a treaty with Ukraine. USA and Russia. If we search in Google, you will find that USA and Russia, let me give you this link, just to show you how stupid this woman is. We have an obligation, it's not a choice. We sign a treaty. We told them, if you give us your weapon, if you give us your, your nukes, those people used to have nukes, we did fool them. The American, they did fool the Ukrainian. They made fun of them. They made them give up their weapon, the nukes. And they signed a treaty, Russia and USA, that they will never allow anyone to invade Ukraine. And if somebody invade Ukraine, they have to defend Ukraine. And she said to you, what do we have to do with Ukraine? Look what this guy, he dressed. Look, look, is this picture, emotional manipulation. The country destroyed, cities are burned, and she is talking about emotional manipulation. For her, that Gaza destroyed, don't deserve that. But Ukraine des destroyed, they deserve that. So do you see how filthy, low class those people are? Do you see why you've been lied to by those people all the time? This is the reason not to support Ukraine. <laughs> because you don't like how the guy he dress have you ever heard of a stupid commentator of politics like this before this is not politics this is potatoes all right now we go back to our topic about Muhammadan and Muhammad if there is any Muslim would like to join us to talk about Muhammad Filifrey. We believe that Muhammad is a fraud and he is a false prophet. We finish showering this woman with her stupidity. And I say to you, only stupid people, they will listen to such a stupid woman or a stupid man like this guy, Tucker Carlson. He went to Russia and he said, look how cheap, how cheap the supermarket in Russia and how much he paid $103. For what? For some bread, sugar, a wine for $3. We can get it from Walmart. And he claimed this is cheap. This is cheap to who you eat it. People in Russia, many of them, the majority don't even make $300. They don't even make $300. And he was speaking about how cheap Russia is. Cheap to who? To a billionaire like you. But for the Russian people, when we go to a country, we say cheap to me, but not necessarily cheap for them because we need to check the salary. So if I go to Japan, Japan is very expensive to me. Why? Because their salary is a three, four times more than our salary here. So if a Japanese come to America, he will say America is cheap, but this is cheap to him. Not to me. And this is how they fool you.
The same as Muhammad. Do we have any Muhammadan? He is requesting to join us in a conversation to prove to us that Islam is from God. Many people, they go and they live in Indonesia. And they say to you, Indonesia is cheap. Is it cheap to who? It's not cheap for Indonesian. It's cheap for you. Don't be stupid. If it's cheap for me, does not mean that this country, everything is cheap. When you see somebody, he accept one dollar or even half dollar. I saw actually videos in the Philippines. The guy, he take not even 10 cents. You ride the bicycle behind him. He is, he, you know, he, he take you half hour. The poor guy, he is, he is riding the bicycle. Those have like three wheels for half hours for 10, 20 cents, 10 cents. Oh, it's so cheap for me. But this guy, imagine how much poor he is to the point he agree to put you in his bag and he is carrying you in his bike and he get only a few cents. This is how they fool people and they lie to them. The same as Muhammad, he promised them cheap stuff in heaven. And then we find that the heaven is not really free. You have to pay to enter the market, especially about the girls and the boys and the image. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us? May they, may they. How do you do? Any Muhammad in the bushes? I'm waiting for you. Anyone? Oh, Zakir Naik is here. But then, Twitter. First of all, today we are going to see who in the world is deceived. Hmm. Who in the world is deceived, brother? Christian or Muslim? What? <laughs> okay. Let us see this video. So Quran is very I will give you the link. So in case if there is an option to play the video here inside Discord, if there's an option to play the video in Discord, like to post a video and play it, or it have to be just post a link. Well, I don't know, for some reason, it, it's not allowing me to share a screen. Okay, it says, okay, yeah. For some reason, I click on it, it's disabled. Yeah. It's not working. It's not working. Yeah, not working. Okay, so let us do this. This is the Quran Yuka. May, may Allah bless him. They ask him, who is deceived, Christians or Muslims? I will put the microphone on the in the in the, uh, the the headset in the microphone, so you can guys you can hear what he is saying. Who is deceived, brother? Satan and Jesus Christ, peace be upon. The question, sir, today is how confident is Islam? that it is not deceived by Satan or the Jal that Jesus was crucified for all our sins. But the Mahesh has asked a question that how confident is Islam that it's not deceived by Satan and Jesus Christ peace be upon him, he was not crucified. Brother, Islam means peace Acquired by submitting a will to God. That's false. And anyone who That's false. Not a single place it says that Islam means peace. That's a big fat lie. Islam means surrender. It's the opposite. You surrender by the sword. That's why Muhammad he said, Aslam Taslam. Surrender, you will not be killed. You see how they lie to you, even about the definition of Islam? Submit the will to God, he's a Muslim. As far as our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is concerned, He has ilm gab, He has knowledge of the future. Allah says in the Quran, very clearly, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 157, Allah says that they boasted, the Jews, that we killed Jesus, the son of Mary. 
Allah says, وَمَا قَتَلُهُ وَمَا صَلُبُهُ They killed him not, neither did they crucify him. وَلَاكِنْ شُبِّيَ لَهُمْ And anyone who differs is full of doubts. إِلَّا تِبَا زَنْ Which only conjectures to follow. وَمَا قَتَلُهُ يَقِينًا For assuredly they killed him not. So Quran is very explicit, confident, without a single doubt that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not killed, neither was he crucified. It was only made to appear so. All those who differ are full of doubt. Imagine the question is, who is one is deceived, the Christians or the Muslim? But he just said that Allah, he deceived the Christians and the Jews, and he made them see that Jesus was crucified. Do you see how stupid this question is? No, the one who wanna call me, he can call me here as long as he is in Discord. Why he want the, the Skype? He can call me here. Just call me here. So he is here in Discord. He can just make a request and we can. Uh, okay, open a stage. Somebody is posting. Okay. All right. I'm just trying to see what this guy here is advising us to do about stage uh, permission. Uh, well, still I don't see any other option. Okay, advanced permission maybe, let us see. Manage channel, create, invite, video. All right, save it, change. Okay. All right, maybe now it's going to work. Maybe I need to get out and come back or exit. I, I made the screen sharing activated, but still it's not allowing. Anyway, <clears throat> so according to the according to, to the Quran, Allah, he made the Christians and the Jews see Jesus in the cross, but this is not Jesus. This is not Jesus. So the question was, who is the one is deceived? Obviously, Allah is the deceiver. He deceived the Christians, the Jews, everybody. And he made them see what is not there. Isn't this is what deception is about? Who is the one who made the Christians? It says he, he made it appear to them. So who is the one who is deceiving Allah? He made the crucifixion of Jesus appear to be real, but according to Muhammad, it's not real. And here, by the way, you will see how stupid this is. is. Who is going to trust anything from now on is in the Quran. Because if everything can be appear to us, but it's not real, well, maybe Muhammad appeared to him, he saw angel, but it was shaitan. Maybe Muhammad appeared to him that he went to heaven, but he never went there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Appear to them? That is the most hilarious thing ever. Appear to them. I can now say to anyone, it appeared to you that Muhammad is a, is a prophet. Allah made it appear to you. 
All right, we have somebody, but I don't know why he is using. Hello? Hello. I have a question. I am not a Muslim, but I have a question for you. All right. So, you know, a lot of them, they say, you know, when you're, you know, doing apologetics against Islam and all of that, the tomatoes and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So when you bring up, uh, for example, like El Nisa 34, okay. and they jump to the tafsir, as you know, the toothbrush or like hitting with the toothbrush, how do, how do we do? Well, well first, we first of all, that? first of all, the, the, the toothbrush is not a toothbrush. This is now because it became expensive and every Muslim buying it and they say, oh, you don't have enough supply. And even now they are buying from India. India is growing those plants. Those are very harmful roots. So they are not. If we go right now to the Internet and uh, we search for the miswak, you will see that this is a very harmful. It's a root. It's not even a branch of a tree. It is a root. A root of a tree grow up in the desert. It's like a bushes. So, if we go right now, here we go. I will post a link for you. Uh, you will see that this is a long root, and the Muslim they cut it pieces in order to set it. But this is not a small short. This is why they use it. They used to use it to beat the camels with it. It's a long, flexible root like the bamboo or you know but this is very flexible like it's hard to break let us show you here uh, i will give you from google uh, an image so you can take a look this is a very long route and now for sale so they make it short let me show you this one. I'm just trying to, to find a, a picture before they cut it pieces. It's a long route, but after they cut it pieces, it became short, and they use it then in their mouth. But before, the shepherd, they use it they, to beat the camel with it. In the same time, they put the end of it in their mouth to clean their teeth. And Muhammad, he was doing just what the Arab used to do. So I will give you an example here. Uh, let us see this one here. Okay. All right. Oh, this is a video. Let me then post this picture in... Uh, uh, I don't want to play a video. I will post the picture here. And I will dump it in Discord. And I will show people ramble. <coughs> Do you see it? Uh, what do you post? I post it in Ramble. I posted a picture. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the Ramble, whatever it is. Not in Ramble. I post it here in the... <clears throat> I post it in, in, uh, in the chat, in Discord. You don't see it, guys? I don't. Okay, hold no, on. I don't see it. All right, let me give you a link then. Yeah, I think uh, you know, all right, no problem, no problem. I will give you a link because this is a video. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, post a video. Uh, yeah, here we go. Somebody post the image for you. Do you see it now? Yes. All right. Do you see? How, this is a this is a very long route, and they cut it pieces, and they take it to the market, and they set it. For now, Muslim, they use it for this reason. But before, this is what was not what it is. This is was always a long route, and this is always a long, long, long route. We cut it pieces. Do you see how they cut it? So imagine you beat yeah, your I wife. Yeah. So you beat your wife with this. Is that a toothbrush? Uh, you know, I don't think so. And this is after they cut the pieces to set it. Remember, this is not how they are. You can tell, right? You can see that the end, right? You can tell that there is a cut, right? Mm -hmm. So they lie when they say this is a toothbrush. So same time, the Quran is speaking about the penalty. If you beat a woman with toothbrush, she will be laughing. She will be tick she will be ticklish, you know. She might even get excited and go yeah. to bed with you, you know. 
So what yeah, is that? You know, she might you get turned on. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is a is that a penalty or what? This is a woman. She had disobedience, and now we are we are teaching her how to behave supposedly. So what do the brush is about? So this is a very funny I silly. Yeah. Yeah. And you can go and and there and there is a hadith clearly speak about beating a woman until her clothing become greener her skin sorry become greener than her clothing if we go to sahih sunnah.com okay you will see here in the haste thank god the, the website is functioning to me today yesterday it wasn't here we go this is the this is the hadith it says that the women her husband did beat her until she, her, her her skin became a, a greener than her clothing is that really how <laughs> the breath the brush the tooth the brush oh. will do you know what they they tell me sometimes what if there's green toothpaste on the toothbrush my friend it's just a stupid thing because simply the whole idea is about yeah. punishing the women and you will see in the story here if you open the link i just post for you the muhammad he did not even ask the man why you are beating her in fact muhammad he says no man should ask why he is beating his wife. No man. Hmm? I said interesting. I, I have one other question. Let's, let's finish this one first. Okay. I'll read it. Let us see if we can find the hadith. Okay, hold on, give me a second. All right. Because I need to show the hadith for people so they can see that Muhammad even forbid to question a man why he is beating his wife. Here we go. The prophet BBUH said, no man shall be asked for the reason of beating the wife. And this is the reference. I will post it in the screen in, in Discord and people in Rambo they can see it right away. See it? No man would be would be asked why he is beating his wife. Okay, what is the second question? So it is just a question about you know Al Surah Al Zab, uh, the missing verses, uh, chapter thirty three. So Al Al so I see people. Uh -huh. yeah, so they uh, so they quote this, but where is this from? Like where from their books, from? from their books, from their prophet, from Aisha, from them. Where is it from? <laughs> How we know about no, it? But like what? Which which book? I, all, I'm trying all, to find the book. All their books, all their books. As an example, here we go. If we search in the Hadith, you will find uh, that a goat ate the Quran. Mm -hmm. When Muhammad he died, I actually say she said, when Muhammad he died, we were busy with his death. Let us see the hadith. Uh, Let us see. All right, here we go. And let us find the hadith. Ah, not again. The website is messed up again. It's not is not coming to me right away. Okay, let us see. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with this website. I thought it's working today. It's not. Anyway, you can find this hadith here. And I can give you the... 
link in Arabic. Okay. And you yes. can use Google Translation, but it is it is in Sunnah.com. We use this website a thousand times, you know. So you can find it in okay. Sunnah.com, but uh, for some reason, uh, I can't find it. I have I have the whole hate in the front of me. Uh, but when I search here in the website for some reason, I cannot find it. And I don't I don't save a reference in my bookmark. Uh, so. Oh. Change birch, Yeah, for some reason. Okay, let me let me give you uh, a Muslim website. Okay. All right. You can use Google okay. Translation. Okay. You can use Google Translation to open this website here, and you will find this information at the top. Is the link is coming, guys? Do you see the link in Discord? Yeah, I see the link. All right, click in it, and then use Google Translation. You will find it right away in the top after the number one three two six. Year year number. This is the the, the print number for the book. It says I actually she said that the uh, let let me actually uh, use Google Translation here from my side. But for sure, again, I confirm to you that you can find this, the same thing, in Sunnah.com. But for some reason, I cannot find it today. It's not working for me. So this is the name of the book. But this is a very authentic hadith. It says here that Aisha, she said, this is the name of the book. This is the print number. This is the page number. This is the value number. Aisha, she said, the verses of stoning and breastfeeding uh, uh, for uh, of, uh, elderly, elderly, adult, uh, was revealed and were in the uh, uh, in a piece of paper under my bed, and we were busy uh, ab ab about the death of Muhammad. The translation is not accurate. Then a, a dajin, a, an animal, a goat, came inside and ate the the Quran. So until now, it's missing. So this is, exists not only in one book, two books, three books. This exists all over. Or the book, right? Yeah, I'm just. I was just trying to show you the hadith in English, you know, because in Sunnah that come, we, they have it in in English. I hope they did not delete it. That would be funny, and it's possible they would do that. Like al alim, al alim that come, they have a hadith about uh, 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 Muhammad speaking about how Allah created the white people and how He created the black people. We cannot find this hadith in al alim uh, uh, website no more. I used to use this uh, hadith many times. They took it off because Muslims, they weren't there and they reported and they said the Christians are using it because it says there that Allah created the white people from the right shoulder of Adam. He hit him in his right shoulder and the seed of the uh, the, uh, of the, the white seed, they came out from the right shoulder of Adam and he said to them, you go to heaven and I don't care. And then he hit Adam with the, in his left shoulder and the black seed, they come like circle. And he said to them, you go to hell and I don't care. So this is how racist Islam is. Black will go to hell, white will go to heaven. And this is why actually the Quran says, the day the uh, faces will be white and faces will be black. The one who they are Muslims, their faces will be white. The one who they are uh, black, you know, those are the one who don't follow Muhammad. They will go to hell. All right. Thank you, my friend, for for the, right. for the question. Thank you. We take Thank another you. person. Okay, have a good day. You too. Salam Masih. Salam Masih. All right. We take another person. Go ahead, uh, Boo Boo. Hello, Mister Boo Boo. Yeah, how come people they are finding the hadith? I cannot find it in my site. I don't know what's happening in my site. Here we go. A Sheikh Ahmed, a Sheikh Omad, he found it. Do you see it? He found it. But there is something wrong with my from my side. Are you there, Boo Boo? Maybe Boo Boo is taking a nap. Okay, let us mute him. All right. 
Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us? Any Muhammadan would like to do so? Now, for sure, we have to understand that this goat who ate the Quran is not a normal goat. It must be really a very respected from a good family goat. And those things can happen all the time. I mean, if you have a goat at your home, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? Hmm? So, obviously, this goat is sent by Allah. It's a, like, it's a say, this goat, she have a mission, you know? And the goat, he, she did what Allah told her to do. Because remember, everything is in the hand of Allah. Nothing is not in the hand of Allah. All right, let us see. Do we have uh, somebody join us? Balar, go ahead, please. Balar. Hey, hey, can you hear me? I do hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, CP. Uh, thank you for everything you do. So I have a question about... Uh, I don't understand like all the all the like the the chain link and the reporting from like person to person in Islam. Mm -hmm. So like uh, as I understand, like his companions were like kind of uh, you could consider them as his disciples, and like they would listen to his lectures and they would write what he would say, and like they would after on share it with uh, their people mm -hmm. is, is it right yeah supposedly okay. this, this is what they say okay so 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 what what i don't understand well i understand like that it doesn't make sense but I, what i don't understand is how like people how can people like say that um ali isn't a prophet if um he was like kind of the official leader after Muhammad because like the way it works from my understanding in uh, Judaism and Christianism is that like the, the, the prophet, the prophecy followed like the prophets followed uh, a genealogy and like the prophecy was, was uh, passed on from generation to generation. Mm. So this is why we consider them like as messengers or prophets or whatever. So where where are the, why isn't Ali considered a prophet by the Sunni and- um, By the Shia, the Shia. Uh, uh, the, by the Shia, sorry. Yeah, the, the Shia, some of them, like uh, as, there's many groups of the Shia, the same as the Sunni, there's many groups. So some of the Shia, they think that the message really was not to Muhammad, by, by, but by mistake, the angel Jibreel, he gave the message to uh, Muhammad. However, uh, the biggest part of the Shia, as an example, the, the 12, the 12 uh, 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 Imam uh, group, which is the biggest, uh, they believe that all Muhammad and Ali and his family, all of them, and his daughters, all of them, they are made of light. They are not a human. So uh, the, 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 the thing about prophet is not really important for the Shia because they are more than just a prophet. They are not a human. They, are, they, were, they were lights in the forehead of Allah. Uh, uh, people in the chat, please don't post things is silly. Let us uh, act like mature. Don't post the word of a pig, uh, Allah, and Kaaba, poo, poo Don't post those pictures. Don't post Sam Shamoon and David Wood, those pictures. What is that for? I mean, what, what exactly are we doing? What is what we, I mean, what, why are we are acting like kids? Let us be mature here. If you are under age, you can leave. What are those pictures for? So, uh, same time, the Sunni, they believe that Muhammad, he said, if there is a prophet will come after me, that will be Umar ibn al-Khattab. Umar ibn al-Khattab, not Ali. And the whole idea of Islam, Islam is a political, you know, uh, uh, gang system about controlling government, controlling so they can take money, they can take women, they can take land, and they, you know, they get rich. As an example, when Fatima, when, her, when Muhammad, he died, uh, Omar Khattab, he took from her a town she owned, the whole town. It was her town. Where Fatima, she got this money from? They said to you that the Prophet, when he died, he was poor. Fatima alone, she ha she owned a town with the people. Everyone inside the town is belong to Fatima. 
So it is a political system, have nothing to do with the prophets, have nothing to do with God, have nothing to do with, with, with worship. It's about controlling and taking over. So when Muhammad, he died, Islam collapsed. And then they would start fighting over the money. And this is where Shia and Sunni and many sects, they start coming to exist and they start killing each other to the point they killed Ali and his kids. The grandsons of Muhammad, they were slaughtered by the Muslim Sunni. This is how much so, divided. And even the Muslim Sunni, they themselves, they killed Uthman. So most of the caliphate, actually, the first caliphates in Islam, they were killed by Muslims. This is how much this, this, this religion from the beginning is, 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 is doomed. In fact, the Shia, they believe that the one who killed Muhammad, it was Aisha and Hafsa, his wives, the daughters of Umar and the daughter of Abu Bakr. So this is how bad this religion, to the point even the wives of Muhammad, it's possible that they are the one behind his death by giving him poison. Because Aisha, she blamed, she blamed the Jews that they are the one who poisoned Muhammad, which is true. But the death of Muhammad happened four years after his poison. It is possible that even if you uh, uh, eat poison a few years ago, you have an organ damage. It took some time for you before your health deteriorate and, and, and you die. But it's possible too that what the Shia are saying is true, that Aisha and Hafsa, they are the one who killed the daughters of the Caliphate. They are the one who killed Muhammad. So their fathers, they will become the Caliph soon after. So uh, the, the reason I asked my first question, I was kind of anticipating your answer because I've been watching you for a while. But so the second part of my question is that, so now you've explained to us that um everything was reported everything that was reported from what was recited from muhammad was reported by other people written by other people and like if quran confirms that muhammad was bewitched under black magic possessed by shaitan influenced by iblis all uh, in all those like different passages or hadiths or it's like it's mentioned all over the place. So if the the Quran confirms that the prophet that was protected by by God uh, by their God was was like so easily manipulated by evil, like how can they not understand with certainty that like uh, all the companions, um every every pro like every person that promoted th this belief how can they not see that like well you know uh, if, uh, if muhammad was possessed uh how can they not like see that all those people were even like no who who said they did not see who who said they did not see even Aisha, she made fun of muhammad she said to him uh you are the one who claimed to be the messenger of allah so obviously she don't believe in him so they see. That's what I'm. Yeah, they, they I'm see. Saying. But but who they are? Who they are now? Muhammad have an army, and now there is a group of men, the one who join him because of the benefit, money, women, slavery. So now they will become rulers. So, but it's not because they believe in him, but because of the benefit. It's like you join a gang. Like there is many people they join a political party not because they already they believe in the party. But they can. I want to be a president. I have to join a party. I know. I know. There's like there's like uh, perks that that come with it, like money, power, everything. But but like, uh, so so you, from what I understand, like you don't confirm that Muhammad had no children, but you believe so. Uh, but you often refer to like uh, his his uh, like uh, Asil that came after him. So, so, like, uh, are those like children of his wives? You also say that, like, you've also proven that, like, adoption is not like considered as like uh, children in Islam, and you've you've proven it. So, like, can you discuss this topic? Because, like, uh, yeah, we always we talk about them, and it, it goes through the conversation when somebody call me. So we go through it. But anyway, it's very easy to prove that Muhammad. Cannot have kids because all the women he have, where is the kids from them? How come only one woman? The rest, there is a stories about him having uh, uh, the slave. Her name is Mary the Cook, but she's a slave. She sleep with everybody. 
She gave, she bare a son to Muhammad, but there's no proof of that. Even as she made fun of him, she said, you don't even look like you. So, and even he sent uh, Ali to kill, to kill the, the cousin who some accused that he is sleeping with her, which is might be not true, but maybe she is sleeping with others. So Muhammad, obviously he cannot have kids. And even the Quran says Muhammad was not the father of any of your men. So if Muhammad have any kids, he have at least no men. And if those daughters are the daughters of Muhammad, well then, how come we don't hear about them? Where is the daughter of Muhammad Khadija? She had many, 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 many kids. They mention only Fatima. Why Fatima? Because Fatima and Muhammad he married Khadija. She was the youngest between them, and she grew up calling him father because he he is her stepfather. So, so according to your research is not according uh, to my research. The Quran, the Quran itself says, the Quran itself it says that okay. a, a man accused Muhammad that he cannot have kids. And the Quran says to him, the one who accuses you, he is going to be face humility. Uh, so, so according to the so according to the Quran, like if those people that you say his grandchildren were killed, uh, it would be from or children of his wives or not uh, from actually, in, in, he had. in reality, none of them is his grandchildren. They are the children of okay. of, of Ali. Ali. Okay. Yeah, Ali is so, his Ali is his cousin, but however, okay, okay. So Ali and Abbas are his cousins. Yeah, yeah. So so when 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 they killed uh, uh, Ali and his family, that made those are you know uh, so, so they, they are for sure they are from his family still because Ali is his cousin, right? But Fatima is not his daughter for sure. If you go to chapter one eight, you will see that that chapter is speaking about a person who accused Muhammad. That he cannot have a children's, he cannot have a children's. Why? Did so basically, what you're saying. So basically, what you're saying now is that, like, let's say Muhammad's tribe, like uh, his 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 people, uh, Muhammad was in control of of them, and he was the one dictating or reciting Quran to them. Not in and the beginning. Not in the beginning. Later, when he became uh, powerful, he uh, after yeah, exactly. He, yeah. So and 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 what you're saying is that like someone killed him, killed everyone around him, and stole that power from him. Yeah, this is exactly what the Shia they say, and there is many actually many reasons to make you believe in it, because simply. But you, but, but you agree with with this? I can, I cannot confirm anything because when they say the Jewish woman is the one who poisoned him, yes, there's a story of a Jewish woman she poisoned him, but Muhammad he died four years after, so it's impossible. It is possible that. The poison took long time to kill the, uh, his body because it made a damage in his organs, and uh, by time he died. But it's possible too that what the Shia is saying is true that Aisha and Hafsa they were putting poison for him slowly, and they killed him and they used the excuse of the poison of the Jewish women, so he would still believe that the Jewish people is the one who killed him. So, but, but either 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 way, like. Uh... Uh, like, if the Shia are right, if the Sunni are right, like either way, that's not the, uh, that's not like the the point. The point is that someone killed all all the generation that came after after him and his cousins. So so someone was after them. That's for sure. Someone after them? I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? Some them? Someone after them? Like, uh, like, uh, um, someone, some, like, because okay, technically, the way it it's it's been working in the in the Old Testament, okay, uh, um, let's say uh, a prophet dies, his 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 uh, his this descendants uh, carry on. The, the legacy and it was never broken uh until jesus was born so when jesus came it, it's over like the the prophecies have been fulfilled mm -hmm. uh so th there's no more the, the genealogy is no more required because god uh fulfilled everything so well fulfilled what had to be fulfilled at that time so uh but in Islam, the genealogy would still be relevant because uh, 
uh, if Muhammad was a prophet and his companions were uh, giving the the teachings, so technically, if it would have followed, like the grandchildren that you say were were murdered, where does that come from? What what source states that his grandchildren were murdered, and also that like the fact that his grandchildren were murdered proves that like someone hijacked Islam from Muhammad's tribe. Yeah, you see, first like of all, it, so Islam Islam is the religion of hijacking. Nobody hijacked anything. Islam himself he hijacked other religion. <laughs> yeah, he hijacked uh, Christianity, Judaism, Sabi, and everything. You know, he hijacked stories. Alexander the Great. Uh, suddenly he became a prophet. Uh, Harut and Marut. This is a hijacker. This is why the Quran, if you go to chapter 9, verse number 60, 61, it says that Muhammad is an ear. What ear mean? It mean he, you know, uh, uh, whatever he hear, he take it for granted, he put it in the Quran. Uh, I want to apologize. I have I have a neighbor waiting for me in the front of the house. He want to borrow something from me. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. But, right. uh, Just wait. Yeah, yeah. Don't talk because I'm going to be, you can talk if no, you no, want. I'm, not gonna talk. I'm, I'm waiting for you. All right.
All right, I'm sorry guys for the delay. This uh, gentleman, he have a flood in his house and uh, he don't know where, where to, to, to close the, uh, you know, the, uh, the thing for the water. So I had to bring the tool with me and go to his front yard and look for it between the grass. He never knew where that can be located. So we have to look it for him. All right, is this gentleman still here? Yeah, I'm here. All right, sorry for that. Go ahead. No, no problem. Uh, so, so I want to know, like, uh, where's the reference to to like the murder of uh, the grandchildren of Muhammad? Oh, well, you know, to make it easier, you can go right now in Google. You don't need me. Type, you know. Uh, I, I know, I know, but I want like uh, like the most official certain. I don't like like uh, you know like relying on Wikipedia and those stuff because now no no I've no you, not, you you can find Muslim website you know. You can find tons of Muslim website speaking about those things. Don't go to Wikipedia. You do not need the Muslim official website, uh, and they speak about it. All of all of it. It's not like something. It's not a secret, you know. So, as an example, if we go. Uh, so, but is it Quran? Is it Hadith? Is it Tafsir? No, no. In, the, in the Quran, there's nothing about that. This is okay. in the. It's this, like a historical <laughs> statement. It is. You see, even the Hadith we heard about it from historical statement because as as an example ibn ishaq is one of the oldest reporters of what happened to muhammad so the biography of muhammad and his family is where we uh, hear uh, uh, about those stories which all the hate actually is coming from there anyway you know so uh, as an example, I will I will give you a, a link here, and they give you some reference for some for some books. Let me post it for you, but you have to use Google Translation. All right. Are you posting it in the chat? Yeah. Okay. This is official Muslim website, supported by Qatar terrorist. So you find many reference about the killing uh, of Al Hussein, as an example. All right, my friend. Let us take another caller because there is many that are waiting. Okay. If you don't mind. I just have one one last point I would like to go through with you if it's okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so so I'm Christian, right? I've always been Christian. Um, um, but uh, like uh, I, I was. Can you hold on, please? Because some people are saying they cannot hear me or ramble. I'm not sure why. Let us see. They cannot hear me or ramble. We can hear your rumble. I hear your audio. Okay, so why they are, Lisa, she is saying they don't hear me in Rambo. Yeah, they're saying they can hear you now in the chat. They're saying they can hear you. Oh, okay. All right. So go ahead, my friend. Go ahead. What this question is? So I've always been Christian, but like technically I was just like born Christian. I wasn't really Christian because I wasn't practicing. And it was something I, I didn't understand at that time since I've been born again. Um, I understand things like in, in a different way, right. and also, also, also um, I know that like in languages, like roots of words have meaning. But I know that like in Arabic, it's a lot deeper. So I would just like you to like uh, because I, I haven't heard it yet watching, and I've watched a lot of hours. Uh, of you like saying great things uh, about uh, like the way you explain Jesus is just amazing. But like I've I've never seen you go through um, the 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 root of the word Masih with any like Arab speaking caller hmm. or see, anybody. First of all, the Muslim they don't even have they don't know. Why Muhammad? Why so? Why, why the Messiah called the Messiah? One of the explanation, which is very stupid, they say that Jesus he have a flat, a flat feet. For because the word Masah is like flat, like or wipe, so they say his. This is how stupid they are. So if I if we, if we ask the Muslim why the Messiah was called Messiah, they don't know because this is a foreign word. They don't know this is not an Arabic word. So the most famous explanation why the Messiah was called Messiah because he have a flat feet. So imagine how stupid Islam is. This is why I don't talk about it. It's just, it's just silly. The same reason they don't know they don't know what 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 Israel mean. If you ask any Muslim what Israel mean, they do not know. What Jacob mean, yeah, they do not know. I I I would like you like to because I know I know the answer, but like as a Christian, um, 
well, I think I know the answer, but like, uh, can you give the Christian standpoint on the on the origin of the root of Messiah in Arabic? In Arabic. This is this is not an Arabic word. This is coming from the Messiah. The, 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 the word is not Arabic. Have not to do with the Arabic. So there is no origin. Okay. There is no origin for it in Arabic. First of all, and this is a story from the from from the uh, from the Old Testament, and then it's story from the Christians. This is why they have no. They cannot understand what does that mean. You know, like if you ask a Muslim, the same. Like what what Abraham mean? They don't know. You know, what Ishmael mean? They don't know. Okay, what 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 Jibreel mean? They don't know. Because all of those are words stolen from other belief and other languages. So one of the biggest lies is saying, the Muslim saying that the Quran is made in Arabic, when in fact, as you see, the, the word Quran itself is not an Arabic word. The word Quran coming from the Aramaic language, which means you, you say what you saw. Ra'a, even it's used in Arabic today, means so. Qarra mean he spoke. So he spoke what he saw, which means he was reading. So even the name of the Quran is not Arabic. So obviously the Quran, maybe, possibly, there's many books made about this by scholars, speaking about the Quran never was in Arabic. Quran not in Arabic. Yet if you go in the Quran, there's tons of verses saying that this is, this is an Arabic book. We made this book in Arabic. Look how many verses. Chapter 12, verse 2, chapter 13, verse number 37, chapter 16, 103, chapter 20, 113, uh, uh, chapter 39, 28, etc. So, and and the Quran says in chapter, as an example, 43, uh, 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 yeah, 43, 3, the reason we made it in Arabic, so they might understand. But if you ask the Muslim, do you understand? They will say, we understand nothing. You know, Allah knows best what he meant by this verse. But, but you said you said that like uh, it also means like to wipe. So why don't they like? Uh, yeah, uh, why don't that that is that is uh, that you know any any close to Christianity meaning is something they took from us. They say the Christian. They say the Christian. They say the Christian. They say the Christian. They say the anointed. The Christian. They say uh, the one who wipe like he, he wipes sin. Uh, okay. The Christian. And, they say. And, but their understanding, they have no idea because they don't know what that word means. This is not an Arabic word. But, but, but as a Christian, should I adhere to this belief that like, uh, like Masih, the word has a, a, a connection to like the act of Timsih, to clean, to wipe? No, no. Or No. Okay, so no. I shouldn't make this connection? No, 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 no. Because you see, don't, don't you notice that, okay, when you speak in English, what do you say? Like, like in Hebrew, we say the Messiah, right? Where is the Messiah coming from? Messiah, 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 right? Uh, yeah, mash, ma, they say uh, Messiah. Uh -huh. So, like you know, in the in the in the in the Aramaic, sometimes the the, the the letter S becomes Sheen, or the same in Hebrew, and sometimes becomes Sin. So, like in in the Hebrew, uh, 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 the word the letter Eh became Cha. So if I want to say we are, in Arabic we say nahnu, the Hebrew they say nahnu, nahnu. So it's the same. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. So, exactly, yeah. So the letter, but, but, same same letter, same letters, you know, but they have different pronouncing for it. However, this, is, the, we, this is not an Arabic word. I, I, read, I read Genesis in Hebrew and in Arabic, and like mm. I noticed that like, okay, you, you see us in Arabic, we say, we say, uh, uh, like ach uh, achi chay for mm -hmm. a brother, mm -hmm. but I, I noticed like that like uh, in Genesis uh, like th there was a very similar word like it really sounded like he was talking about the word chay or achi. My or, friend, Arabic, Arabic is but born. But it was considered it was it, it was employed to refer to like a living being, like a human. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Arabic language. And Hebrew, both are born out of Aramaic. Remember, Abraham is coming from where? From a land they speak okay. Aramaic, right? So yeah. it's very normal that the children of Abraham, before they reach the point to have an, a Hebrew language, they were speaking and the, langu the language is changing from the Aramaic all the way it became Hebrew. It doesn't change to become Hebrew in one day. So Aramaic have an impact in all languages. And obviously, Quran is the same and uh, is, uh, uh, Hebrew is the same. However, the, the Arabic, the Arabic language we speak today, they call it Arabic, but in reality, nothing about it have to do with, with, the, with, uh, with any, uh, any group because this is a collection of languages. 
if you if you go and study languages, you will find that every uh, uh, every word here in Arabic is literally coming from Aramic, except maybe uh, you know maybe a few thousands is coming from Ethiopian, Persian, uh, Indian. But the majority of it is coming from the Arabic. So the Aramaic is the source of, like now when you pray, you say, Amin. This is an Aramaic word, you know, which means we believe, we agree. So now the Muslim, they use it. But how this has become an Arabic, you know? Simply, because simply the Arabic is not a language. Arabic is a collection of languages. So the, the Aramaic, they have a huge impact in many, like uh, the word Europe, this is Aramaic word. The word Africa, this is an Aramaic word, you know? There's tons of words we use around us today. They are not even English. They have nothing to do with Latin language. They are Aramaic. Aramaic people are like, at that time, Aramaic was the language of the top nations. The language of science, the language of study, the language of uh, discovery, the language of uh, rulers, the language of, uh, you know, the Messiah himself, he spoke Aramaic. Part of the Talmud is in Aramaic. You know, so Aramaic have a huge impact in all languages and Arabic is no different. All right? Uh, okay, I, I have to take another person. I, I apologize, you know, because there's many that are waiting. But brother, brother, please, there's many people are waiting. Let us give them a chance, you know? God bless you. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. So if, if nobody call again, you know, you can join us. Uh, the next person, his name, I don't know, I? Hey, um, we have a... Um... A woman here. I think she's a Muslim, but she has questions. So I'll I'll wait. All right. I want her to go first. Okay. Who is the uh, Muslim woman? Where is she? The Starlight. That's the Muslim woman. Oh, okay. Starlight. Hi. Go ahead. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. That's awesome. Um, do do you believe that the entire faith of Islam is like like bad? Well, I will, you know, I, I will ask you to help me. Do you have anything in Islam is good? I I feel like some things in like every religion is like <clears throat> good. But um, I feel like in every religion, like there, <laughs> there's like bad things as well. But okay. also there's like good things. I will give you an example. I will give you an example. Uh, do you like uh, mice? Mice? Uh huh. Yeah, I used to have a pet mice. No, do you like the mice who go in your kitchen and jump in your food? Do you like those ones or the one like I'm not talking about the bed? I'm talking about the mice, like they make babies and they are all over the house. They eat you. Do you like them? <laughs> no. Okay, but we know that mice is very important for medicine. They use them in the laboratory. Correct, but right. mice, but mice and rats, they have a very dangerous virus in their piss, so they can kill us actually if they pee in our food. However, we cannot say that mice is a good creature, even though it's used in in, in the medical field to to practice. Uh, uh, you know, they 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 try drugs on the mice first because the mice have a special DNA and we see what the impact of the drugs on the mice and then we go and we move to use it on the human. But doesn't mean that the mice is a good uh, creature for us, you know? So that you are coming to me with the same. I'm, I'm not saying Islam is a mice. I'm saying Islam is more dangerous than a mice. Because in, if I want to say Islam have something good, like what? Like as an example, you are a female. If you get married, your husband, he can beat you. Is that good? Um, no. Okay. Your husband can have four wives. Is that good for you? I, I feel like it's it's more of an optional type of thing. Like Not optional. It, it's optional for him, not you. It's not optional um, for you. You know, you can go right now and search in YouTube. There's many, many Muslim videos. They don't, they are not even shy to say the man, even Muhammad, he says that the man, he should not ask for permission to marry second or third or fourth wife. So it's an option for the man, not for you. And the man, he can divorce you by one statement. Can you divorce him by one statement? No. So if I go with you and say Islam is a good religion, even Muhammad, he says, the man, he can lie to his wife and the wife, she can lie to her husband. Is that how we establish a family? Is that good? No. Okay, so how, how Islam is good? 
if I lied, if I'm married, I lie to my wife and she can lie to me, how I, how she can trust me and how I can trust her. The prophet, he allow, Islam allow the man to lie to his wife. A family is based on lies that it's not a family. If you, if you take a partner, forget about marriage, you have a business. You, let us say you have a friend, uh, she is in your age, you decide to open a business together, but then this girl, she keep lying to you. Do you trust her? No. Okay, this is the same for God. If God allow me to lie, how I can trust the one who says to me, you can lie? That, he's, that means he's a liar too. If the God who is the God told me you can lie, that means he obviously, he don't mind and he think it's a good thing. But there's no good in lies. And then the Muslim, they try to fix it. They say, oh, well, okay, what if your wife, she asks you, am I beautiful? What do you say? And she is ugly. What do you say? You say to her, you're ugly. First of all, why you marry her if she's ugly? If you see her, if you see her ugly, why you marry her? Obviously, when you married her, you said to her, you're beautiful, right? So you were lying to her from the first day. Why you married her? If you are in love with her, even if she don't look good, you you will see her as beautiful. So lying to a wife or lying to the husband will not make our relationship better, will not make our family more united, will make our family the, the family of the devil. And then the children, they will lie to each other too. And then we go, if, we, if I can lie to my wife, the wife, she can lie to you, to me. I go in the street and we lie to everybody because we can lie to everybody. Now, Muhammad, he says, uh, a man, he can lie to fix issues. Okay, how you can fix issues by lying? You, you, you lie to your friends, you lie to your family, you lie to your uh, uh, wife. It's a lying society. And the Quran promotes lie, chapter 3, verse number 28. It says that you can speak to them in a friendly way while your heart is like this. Okay, what kind of God this God is? I can lie to you, say to you, you are my friend, while my heart is just like that. If you go and we can read the interpretation for this. Chapter 3, verse number 28, as you see in the front of you. It says uh, that you cannot take them as a friends and you cannot give them honor. And the one who take them as a friends and he mean it he is sincere look at this the one who is sincere let me give you the link so you can read it uh, 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 by yourself open the link please i just post it for you and this is the official government website of the of the uh, of the kingdom of jordan official it says here that the one who is sincere taking the christians and the jews as a friend is if he is sincere if he is sincere to say to them, you are um, my friend, he is not a Muslim no more. So a Muslim, he can't be sincere when he say to a Christian anything. And if you are sincere and you say to me, you are my friend, then what, what it says here, he will not have any connection with Allah, has no honor, no mercy or protection, which means the Muslim, they can kill him, they can rape his wife. All of this because he's sincere to take me as a friend. Is that a good religion for you, my dear sister? Uh, um, uh, 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 so, in Muslims, do you, do you think they would consider me as a um a kafir? Or yeah, yeah, father? yeah. You are. If you have if you have a Christian friends, if you have a Christian friends, you are a kafir now. Do you have a Christian friends, and you are sincere to have them as a friends? Uh, you have you have any Christian friends, and you believe that you are you are good to them, and you like them, and you are honest with them. What do you think? I'm, I mean, I I I I, I live in the states, like the U.S. Okay. So, like I, I'm surrounded by like a lot of people from like other religions and faiths. Mm -hmm. So. I, I do have a lot of um, uh, like Christian and Jewish Jewish and Muslim friends, mm -hmm. but I I feel like I I don't I don't know I feel like this this verse doesn't really make sense to me. Well, nothing in Islam makes sense anyway. I mean, does it make sense if I go to heaven, this God, he will give me a lot of women to sleep with me? Why? One woman, she's not enough? You know, don't God, when he created Adam, he created one Eve for him? Do we need uh, 20 Eve, 70 Eve, 2700 Eve? You know, 
one woman, all of them they have the same. All of them they have the same body, and not only that. Uh, you are talking about what makes sense in the heaven of Islam. All women they have the same face, the same height, the same name, the same eyes, the same hair, the same look, the same fingers, the same hands, the same feet. So what the point? If I have one of them, I have them all. Imagine. Okay, I, I don't want to be rude with you. I, I, I apologize. Imagine now I have seventy-two wives. The first one came. What's your name? Hur. Okay. She have a black eyes. She have long hair. And this, okay, second one, come finish with the first one. She looked the same. What's your name? But you are the same one. Just came to me. No, no, no. I'm different person. But you look exactly the same. Oh no, I am the second one. So now one after one will enter the bedroom with me. But all of them they look the same. Imagine you enter a website for dating, and you look at the profile, and then all the girls on the website they have one name, one age, one picture, and one profile. And you are talking my sister about making sense does, does that make sense are, are, are you talking about the 72 virgins no no the 72 heaven? is for the bad muslim 72 is for the bad muslim the, the good muslim there's the, the islamic heaven is 100, 100 the floor depend which floor i will be a person like me i will have the last floor for sure <laughs> so <laughs> because i am anti muhammad <laughs> so so what kind of religion this is i just imagine it you, okay, imagine my wife went missing. I will go to the police in the heaven of Allah. And then I give them her picture. But they say to me, but all the women in heaven, they look exactly the same. What? Okay, what's her name? Her name is Hur. Well, all of them, their name is Hur. Okay, how we can find her? Well, we cannot. Because all names, in, all women in heaven, they have the same face, the same height, the same look, the same voice, and they sing the same song. They don't even talk. They, they have one song. They keep repeating it for eternity. So, so when you say to me, uh, this verse doesn't make sense. I mean, what what in Islam makes sense? Uh, well, it, it it depends. Like like that there are um, there there are like some things, and then other things just don't make sense to me at all. But you see, I, I you see my my dear sister, listen. If either either we believe in the whole thing, we cannot. We're not going shopping, you know. We are not going shopping to Walmart, and I like this. I don't like that. Either this is religion. Either it is. Either this God is saying something right, or this God is a foolish God. He cannot be smart here, stupid there. You cannot. Like imagine you say to me, you are genius, oh, but you are stupid. But I cannot be genius and stupid at the same time. Either genius or stupid. So either this God, he say things doesn't make sense and he's stupid, which means he cannot be God, or this God is make all all the time sense and then he's God. Right. Can I ask you a a question about um, Christianity? Sure. Go ahead. So, do you follow like like um, the Old Testament? We cannot. Well we as cannot as follow. We cannot follow the New Testament without following the Old Testament. However, the Old Testament. Every every law is given for people for a reason, for a time. As an example, in the time of Moses, they were traveling in the desert. So there's a rules about where you go in the bathroom. You have to go a few, like a certain steps far away. That has nothing to do with me. So the Old Testament would have to do with me because we are not living in the time of Moses and we are not traveling in the desert and we are not living in a camp. So what goes for me from the Old Testament, as an example, the, 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 the Ten Commandments. So when God, he gave the Ten Commandments to Moses, those they go for us as a Christians. You shall not kill, you shall not lie, you shall not steal, etc. So, yes, we have to follow. But there is law given to the Jews, belong to the Jews, to fix the life of the Jews at that time. Have nothing to do with me. So, in the Old Testament, there's things given to the Jews. There is some laws even made by Moses himself as a king, as a ruler. Not only as a prophet. And there is law given to the Jews by God, which, as an example, the Ten Commandments. So, what is given to by God... That goes for everybody. What is given by man, that is the ruler, even if he is a prophet, he is a trying to fix a society and to lead a society for a better success. So, yes, we follow the Old Testament, but not everything is inside the Old Testament goes for me, because simply it goes for a certain time, certain people, certain situation, and this is not even coming from God. Or even if it's coming from God, it was about a certain situa situation. Go ahead. Right. So, so um, the the who who wrote the 
like not the commandments but like that the the laws that are like oh if if like I'll, I'll give you an example like um um hold on i have one off okay whatever um if like a woman gets like um assaulted by like a man the man has to pay the father 50 shekels yeah this is the law this is the law of the ruler so if the ruler is Musa's Musa's he gave a he, he make a law whoever the ruler you know and this is became the tradition of the Jews to follow the law to protect their society from bad people if it is from God then the Bible will say this is from God God said if it says God said then God said if it's not it is then there's either from the prophet or from the ruler but doesn't mean that God he said that it means that the society they agree upon something as a penalty for the someone who did such a thing oh so so it doesn't necessarily apply to you guys because you only no we don't, first Jesus. first of all uh, we don't, uh, you know, we don't have a, a religious state, which means the law is not uh, law based in, in the Bible. Uh, as you see, like in America, uh, we are not really in charge. There's, there's gays, there's homosexual, there is, uh, you know, so this is, this is always against our, our book. So we are not the one who is making those laws. Obviously, we are not in charge of the law. So to implement to, impl to to like to implement a law, a law. However, if we need to go to find a law fit with us, then we have to go to the Old Testament or the New Testament to match it with our life. But we are not now in the stage where we can have a Christian state where we go by the Christian law. We have a secular law, and it's ruling the whole country, and we have to ab abide by that law unless it is pushing us out of our faith. Like if the law is against our faith, then even if it's a law, I'm not going to have nothing to do with me. Right. Yeah. But in the um, same time, why you why you are a Muslim? Why you think you know? Why you think you wanna like? Why you you are born of a Muslim family? I understand. But why you are a Muslim? What is good about Islam? This is the question you gave me from the beginning. I don't see I don't, I don't see anything good about Islam. If there's any good or Ramadan? In Ramadan, people they get fat, food get expensive. <laughs> People don't fast. People eat. <laughs> people eat more. Crimes increase. If you go right now and search why crimes increase in Ramadan, they will say to you because people are so angry and so tired. Well, this is not an excuse. So Ramadan did not solve a problem. Ramadan make a problem. Poor, they cannot buy food because everything become expensive. People get fat, and you will notice that if if you search right now why heart attack increase in Ramadan, they will say to you the reason because. Uh, the body system change and the system the way you eat the way you rest the way you sleep change and that will make too much stress on the body suddenly and that will cause a heart attack so even heart attack even in health it is not good so what is good about Islam I don't know even Ramadan by the way is not an even Islamic this is taken from the Sabian so what is good about, this, is the, this is the question we start with is there anything good about Islam you remember Honestly, um, I'm I'm not really that religious. Like I've been called like a kufar before, but like I feel like the only good thing that I look forward to is, is um, like Eid because you you get a lot of money on it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> how old are you? I'm sixteen. Uh, this is why uh, now I understand why you get a lot of money to buy maybe uh, a phone or something. Yeah, but this is not a, you see even celebration in Islam is not a celebration because you see for us as an example in Christmas, I enjoy the Christmas. It doesn't matter, you know, like uh, there's many children, they are very poor. They don't get any money. But Christmas is an amazing gift. Christmas where people get happy. They are adult. They are children or actually in Christmas. I feel like a kid again, honest to God. Every Christmas, I feel like I am being a child again. I love a Christmas. So it's not about money. It is the day Christ, he came to us and bring happiness. And I feel the happiness in my heart. Even though I'm a growing man now, still I love to be enjoying my Christmas. So this is not about, I, somebody gave me, it's not about Santa Claus. We don't have Santa Claus in the time of Jesus. But this is about, Christ, he came to this earth and happiness in this earth happened. The Lord himself, he came to us. 
And this is why you see Christians, they enjoy their life way better. Let me describe for you how different our life from your life as a Muslim. If I marry a woman, I will not divorce her. She will not divorce me unless she broke the command of God. Like what? She fornicate or she leave the house, she don't come back, etc. Or the man, he do the same. I will not go cheat around. I will not lie to my wife. I will not lie to my neighbor. I will not lie to anyone. I will not kill. I will not steal. I will not even swear. Jesus says either you say yay, yay, or nay, nay. So which one you prefer, you as a Muslim? A husband who is saying, the Muhammad says, the man he can't lie to his wife, or a husband who never lied to you. Which one you prefer? A man who will never marry second women after you. He will live with you. He will grow up together. He will grow old and you die together. Or a man, he changed you the same as he changed shoes because he think you are his property. A man who should not treat you except as Jesus, he gave himself to the church. Or a man, he can beat you just because he said to you, make tea and you are late. So which, which one you want? You want one day a year the aid because somebody gives you some money? Or you want life of happiness, family, decency, a man who love you, you love your man, one man, one woman, they will be united under God as the Bible teaches us. Right, I, I feel like I'd, I'd want the one where um, the man doesn't lie but the issue is uh, it won't be necessarily very happy as you know muslim families aren't very accepting when you convert so it's it's it, it'll, it'll be more of like a tragedy <laughs> uh, you see the tragedy the, the real tragedy is that sooner you will get married from a muslim and then after you get married him for a year or two or three or four, then you get older and then he will throw you in the street and then he will look for someone she is younger. That is a tragedy. The tragedy is that your husband, he will beat you in his house and you cannot even say why. That is a tragedy. The tragedy is that when he die, you don't inherit the money because you are just the wife. You have a little tiny percentage. That is a tragedy. You build this house together, you grow up together, you grow together, and then what? Because you are a Muslim female, you cannot inherit the same as anyone. That is a big tragedy. In the top of that, even when you go to heaven, if there is a heaven in Islam, you will be, excuse my language, you will be just a toy for a man there. And the man, he will have many like you. You don't even will be remembered. So if we want to talk about tragedy, I see that all the future of Muslim women is nothing but tragedy. Look, Aisha, she said, when a man, he did beat his wife. And the second one, sir. <clears throat> Sorry for that. A, says, a man. What's the ruling on defensive? Hold on. A man did beat his wife until her clothing became greener than, the, her, her, her skin became greener than her clothes. What Aisha, she said. She said, I never saw a suffering woman as much as a believing woman. Aisha herself, she is saying that the most suffering women is a Muslim woman. And I will pause the hate for you so you can. Uh, you can read it yourself. The most suffering women. So how how we can live, why, I wanna, why you want to be the most suffering women when you can be the most happy women marrying a Christian man, living as a Christian, and then when God take our soul, we will be with the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the decency source, the wisdom source, the Messiah. Which one you want to be with? The one who made his heaven like a, a pimp house or the one who is holy and his house is the house of holiness? Uh, the holy one? Okay, that is Jesus. That is not Muhammad. I I have um a, a a question. Okay. Do you were you ever Muslim or were you born? No, Christian? no. I'm too smart to be a Muslim. To be honest with you, I can't <laughs> be a Muslim for a second. I mean, this is very. This, are you insulting me, sister? 
<laughs> Do I sound stupid for you? Sorry, I mean, come on, you are insulting me now. <laughs> Oh, let me call my no, mom. No, she, no, you know, no, because no. you are a female, and now I need someone to pull you from your hair, and uh, I cannot do it because you are a female. Mom, <laughs> mom, this girl. She said to me, "You are a Muslim." What? Jesus said, "Forgive her." Are you sure? Okay, I forgive you. It's okay. <laughs> my mom, you are lucky. My mom, she is very good a Christian, so she said to me, "I have to forgive you." So you you, you can keep your hair for now. Next time <laughs> I will. Next time I will call my auntie. She is more aggressive. Oh no. Yeah. Don't get around me. So, which one you want to be with? You know, why, why want to be a Muslim? I mean, want to be a Muslim? Too, so there is a guy. His name is Muhammad. Any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet? What is that? I mean, God He made a privilege to a Prophet because he's a Prophet. I want to be a Prophet too. You know, it's, isn't it obvious that this man, all cult leaders, all liars, when they organize an organization or religion. They make a privilege for their own. And this is the case of Muhammad. He has 16 privilege, more than 11 or 12 of them is about his money and his sex. Right. Yeah. So, uh, I, 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 I actually, um, okay, I, ho I hope. I don't get attacked for this, but I, I actually never looked up to um, Muhammad. You, 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 like, never, you mean you never respected him? You never respected him? No, like I, I, I have respect, like for everyone, no matter what. But like I, I, I never like looked up to him and thought like, oh, I want to be like that person. <laughs> Yeah, so you, you don't like to be like Muhammad. Why? Because obviously he's a bad person, right? Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Yeah, I agree with uh, you. I, I feel like, you know, like the things that he, he's done aren't entirely the best, but like it, it's, it, it's like I I don't know like I, I can't I can't like lose respect for anybody like no matter what I, I just that I, that's why I um um that's why I'm still in the religion for my mom because mm. I, I I I don't want her to be upset with me. So you are not you are convinced that Islam is not a good religion, but just because of your mom, you don't want to leave Islam, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you see, this is not the right thing, because at the end, but then you will live like then you will become like your mom, and then maybe maybe your maybe your dad is a good man. We don't know, but maybe you marry and you you will marry a Muslim then because you are following the tradition now, and then he might beat you. He might marry another woman because he's a Muslim. So. You are just destroying maybe your future for the sake of what? Nothing. What you will gain? Ooh. Your mom, if she, your mom, if she loves you really, she will love you if you are a Christian. She will love you if you are a Muslim. If your mom, she would hate you for being Christian. That means your mom, she never loves you. Well, the 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 thing is, like, like, I um, I'm I'm not required to get married to another Muslim man because. Um, my I've I've been told that my family is very weird by like Muslims, but I I, I, I my family is like a fully Sunni family, but my my fourth cousins are Shias, and my sister is marrying a Christian, so. Okay, it, well, in, like, the, in this case, uh, your families are not practicing Islam, so why you don't even if they accept that your sister she marry a Christian. Then you can be a Christian. That means your family are not really going to be upset from you. Do they speak to your sister after she married the, the Christian guy? Well, my sister moved away because uh -huh. of my dad. So they, they, we we speak to her sometimes, but the only reason why they they really like let her do it is because she moved away my mom doesn't actually support the marriage and my dad just doesn't know about it your dad do not know that your sister she married yeah hmm. <laughs> 
Well, obviously, your dad is uh, is uh, watching cartoon all this time. <laughs> 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 He's busy with uh, Mickey Mouse. Listen, my sister. Listen, <laughs> I don't really, you know, for me, I want to think about my salvation too, because at the end of the day, there's hell and heaven, and we believe that hell and heaven is true, and obviously. Staying with Muhammad in the religion of Muhammad will not take you to heaven. It's not just about my mom. Let us say, let us say my mom, she is a Muslim. I'm not going to stay as a Muslim because I'm going to go to hell at the end of the day. Just make her happy. I will leave because this is my salvation. So it's not only because the Christianity is nicer or I will have a better life or better, better let us say, family, but I have a salvation. Heaven and hell are true. Do you like to go to hell? Mm, no, I, okay. I, I wouldn't want to go. But... So, if you stay with Muhammad, you will go to hell. I guarantee you that. Even Actually, so, even the Quran says, وَمَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَرِدُهَا Not a single one of you, but he shall enter hell. In, in with Jesus, Whoever believe in me and die, he will live, Jesus said. Which one you want to go? Muhammad himself, he said, I don't trust the deception of Allah. Even if I have one foot in heaven. Wait, he, he's... He, wait, hold on. Muhammad is going to be choosing who goes to heaven and hell? No, Muhammad, Muhammad, he told the Muslims that he don't trust the deception of Allah, which means, uh, like let us say, the day of judgment is coming. And then you trusted Allah that he will go to heaven. So what the Quran saying, and Muhammad said in the hadith, I can show you even a verse, that the one who trusts the deception of Allah is the fool. Only the fool. Only the stupid okay. ones, only the stupid ones, if you go to chapter 7, verse number 99, it says, and I will read for you, Are they secure from Allah? This is a Muslim translation scheme. This is false, by the way. It says in, in Arabic, it says, Makr, the deception, the lies. None is secure from the deception of Allah. Save the one who they are going to be perished, which means the one who they are going to go to hell is those who trust Allah. They feel secure with Allah. If you change the translation, and the funny, by the way, you will notice that every Muslim, you have different translation for the same verse, the same exact translation. They have million and they are totally different from each other. Totally different. Because everybody trying to change the meaning and fix it. It is a horrible book. So which one we you know which one we should do? Um I I follow Jesus. I mean to that. So I uh, I I'm happy that you said you want to follow Jesus. So do you like do you do you want to confess that you believe that the Lord, the Messiah is your savior? Um, uh, I, um, uh, <laughs> um, uh, I, speak your heart, I, speak your heart, don't worry. <laughs> Nobody will judge you. We are Christians here, we pray for you, no matter what you say. I invite you right now to accept the Messiah. You said already you wanted to follow Jesus. So do you like to confess that Jesus is the Lord, your Savior? Um, sure. Yes. Sure. I mean to that. Hallelujah. I want you guys. Do you, did you hear our, our sister here? She just accepted Jesus. And uh, uh, you, you are you are young. But you know what? Even the old ones, the old men and women in Christianity, they are called the child of God. So from now on, when you pray, you pray to the Lord. And you pray to the Lord what you call him. You don't call him Allah. You don't call him. You are not a slave no more. For today you are free. 
you call him my father and here you notice there's a huge difference between Islam and Christianity I pray to my Lord he allow me he encouraged me he said to me call me by this name father why because he loves us so from now on today you are born again with Jesus and from now on you call the Lord of Lords the King of Kings you call him when you pray to him my father so all your prayer will be going to him from your heart you do not need to wake up in certain time you do not need to do a certain move stand up sit down you can speak to the Lord anytime the Lord the Messiah he said every two of you any two of us like now me and you and all those people they are listening mention my name I will be between you I will be in the present that is the true Lord not the one who uh, come the, uh, come every night at the third part of the night says who is going to pray to me when everybody sleep so why we pray five times a day and if you miss the prayer here is a problem and you have to do the ablution and if you fart that is a big problem for Allah because look like your prayer will be delivered to Allah with the farting this is a very silly cult with Jesus you can pray for him anytime before you eat before you sleep you are sitting in your bed you are speaking to your mom you can pray now to your mom to your family in fact I encourage all the Christian right now to pray to our sister here I'm not going to ask you to say your name don't say your name but we pray that her family starting from her mother she will find the truth and she will join join the daughter so later the whole family they will come to Christ and they will see how amazing to be with him what do you like to say to us how do you feel now after you said you want to accept you accept Christ as your Lord I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie like I, I'll I, I I'm um oh my god I'll be completely honest like uh the reason why I was hesitant at first was because um I had a bad past and uh I, I actually wanted to see if there was any Muslims here because uh I hate I hate it when like like it like I, I can't say it to a Muslim that I believe in Jesus because I'm, I'm, I am I'm, I'm actually scared of them yeah you see this is other other reason to believe that Muhammad obviously is a bad person because why I want to be scared for not believing in someone I don't like why they are scary simply because Islam teach violence and make it criminals Islam does not make make a good society Islam is religion of violence so I understand what you are saying but you are living in the state and if anyone try to harm you you call the police immediately you call the police immediately it doesn't of, matter who of, is he of, of course but like I'm, I'm I'm not a like I I believe that people won't be physical with me more so emotional because I I have a really um, easily the damaged emotional uh em emotional yeah well structure. you know don't uh, <laughs> don't associate yourself with the one who is maybe he will. Uh, uh, harass you emotionally don't associate nobody's forcing you stay away from the people you don't like you don't need to associate with someone he is not nice not a friendly so let us choose our friends and who we talk to and who we can share uh, uh, what we believe what we think not everybody you know not everybody is a, is a qualified to to be your friend not everybody is qualified to be uh, you know a person who knows about your life you have to be smart and choose carefully who you talk to, who you don't talk to. So anyone you think he is rude, he is aggressive, he is uh, is going to, uh, uh, you know, bully you. Well, stay away from them. Very simple.
Right. But I, I feel like it's it's more difficult than, than that. It, it, is, it is difficult. But you see, everything in our life is good, is difficult. Anything, anything. As an example, the more the food is tasty, the more it takes time to make it. How many years it take for a tree to give a fruit? Imagine if we put the seed for a tree today, and tomorrow I eat fruit. So everything in life takes time, and it is difficulty. So don't think that life, when your mom, she gave birth to you, do you know how hard it was? How painful? But as soon as she gave birth to you, yeah, one day you will get married and you will know how hard it is. You never saw a female giving birth in TV or movie, how they scream, how they are in pain. I've, I've seen it. I, I think it's pretty painful. Exactly. But, I, I but, the, se but the second the baby come out, what the woman she do, she's so happy. She is so comfortable. She forgot all the pain and she hug her baby. So beautiful things. They go sometime through pain. And the example is giving birth. And today you are born again. So if if some people, they will try to make you, to bully you, or because she become a Christian, we make fun of her. Well, they are making fun of themselves. They can't make fun of you. They are the fool. They are the one who believe that there is a God. Like I'm trying to be polite with you. You are very young. You are 16 years old. In a very sexual religion, very stupid, very violent. The sun set in murky water. Women have a sperm come up from her backbone. The women, she, the 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 the, uh, uh, the sperm become become a blood. Uh, uh, the hail is coming from mountains in heaven. I mean, the whole religion is is just a garbage. So when somebody, I advise you to keep listening to me, and take notes, educate yourself. So if somebody came to you to bully you about leaving Islam, then you can refute them and you can answer them. What do you think? Of, of course, I, I, don't, I don't mind. All right. Listen and take notes, you know, like if you can make like the links I make, make a, uh, make a bookmark in your computer or your phone, save them. So if somebody discuss with you about Islam, show them this is how stupid this religion is. Don't blame me for leaving it. If you don't, uh, if you think Islam is smart, go speak to this guy. Let him talk to me. If they can convince me Islam is smart, then they are right. But obviously they cannot. I I got you. If if I can't refute them, I'll bring them to you. <laughs> All right, I will be happy to hear from you, sister. Well, uh, I, I wanna I wanna ask every single Christian here to pray for our sister here. Don't say your name. There is no need for that. She called herself uh, Star. So we pray to the Lord, uh, uh, our Heavenly Father, accept your daughter today. She is young. She is decent. She is honest. She loved the truth, and the truth today set her free. We pray to you that you will guide her, you protect her, and you will keep away all kind of harm from those who will make fun of her because they are stupid, not because she is. Our Father, we pray that she will be a good mother and she will be lo a loving person. And we pray for her parents too, so they can come to you and see the truth. Amen. 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 Well, I'm happy for your sister. She is happy. She is laughing. I'm good for you. <laughs> <laughs> so did you enjoy calling me today? Was it a good call? It was in, indeed. I I enjoyed talking to you. You're genuinely like really nice. Generally, not always, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. No. You see, you have to be careful. You know, there is some people you cannot be nice to them because when you are nice to them, they will think you are weak. They will take advantage of you. So you have to be careful who, who you speak to and how you speak to. So if there is a person speaking nice to me, I will be nicer to him. But if he's rude, he's satanic, he have a demon inside him, he's, he, the, the, the devil is speaking in his mouth, then I have to rebuke the devil. That's what the Bible teaches us. So when you call me, you're speaking nice, you're very friendly. So how I cannot be friendly with you? You know? Yeah. <laughs> 
I, I, I don't, I, um, I don't think that think that's actually possible for me, like to to be that mean to somebody, because like, like I, I, I don't know. I, I just can't. No, no. <laughs> like, it's not about being mean. It's about being truthful. Sometimes, if somebody is evil, well, we have to say to him, "You are evil. You are stupid. You are wrong." You know, uh, if because if we don't say what this person is, he might keep doing his wrong. Like if you have a friend, he is a, a bully. He bully people, and you never say to him, "You are you are why you are bullying." This is wrong. He will keep bullying everybody. So somebody have to say the truth. So this person will correct his behavior. Otherwise, he will never stop. Right. Right. Okay. But um, I don't. I I feel like I shouldn't be the person to confront them. Yeah. Okay. Don't be. Don't. Okay. Don't be that person. Okay. Don't forget about this one. <laughs> I ask you maybe too much. Leave them for me. Bring them to me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, sister. I am happy for you, and you can call me anytime if you have any question. All right. Of course. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Bye bye. God bless you. Bye. All right. We take the second caller. Do we have any Muslim or nobody? Yes. Um. Earlier, somebody uh, I DM somebody. They said their father was coming to DM me. That's why I didn't say nothing. I waited for all the Muslims to come. I don't know if their father is still coming to to debate you. Their they father. The father of whom? Um. Somebody in here. Um. I don't know if he's comfortable with me saying his name, but uh, okay. somebody in here said that their dad was a Muslim. They wanted to debate. Okay. Well, he, is is his father is there? Uh, I don't know. He has to say something. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, they're not here. He has to say something in the chat. Oh, uh, okay. Well, if I mean, yeah. if, if there is somebody want to join, let, just letting them know, you know, they will come. Yeah, right. but um, I'll, I'll make this quick because I am a Christian and you know, right. I do want you to get to a Muslim. But okay. yeah, God bless you, all the things. Um, I did want to ask you one thing. I wanted to know your opinion on a verse and if it means what, because you actually got me into debating Muslims. All right. Um, you're your knowledge on Islam is like second to none. So, um, oh, we actually got a Muslim here. I'll shut up and then uh, let you debate him. All right, brother. You are very, you are very kind. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Customers come first. Exactly. Go ahead. Hello. Hello, Sibi. Hello, my friend. How are you? Yeah, I'm very fine. Thank you. So, you are a Muslim. Uh, I have uh, someone here that wants to talk to you. She's a Muslim. All right. Go ahead. Take, uh, one moment, please. Take your time. <clears throat> it would be nice to have as much as possible, please. <laughs> as much as you can. No problem. Uh, here you go, Hello. Can you just give me a, a, a few minutes? My neighbor came again. You know, this guy he have he have a he have a, a flood in his house. The, the the pipe is broken. Let me see what he needs. Is okay? Just a few minutes. Is broken? Do you hear me? Hello. Uh, uh, do, do you hear me? Yeah, hello, CP. One minute, please. Jim, just, just, just give me, just give me three minutes, four minutes. My neighbor is coming. He needs my help. I will be back. Just a three minute or a minute maximum. All right. Oh, okay. All right. It's okay. If you can I use a speaker. Um. Hey guys. Um. Is it okay if I can ask CP just like a really, really quick question? Just for some hadith that I just I can't find. Oh yeah, I mean of course. Uh, uh, I, the reason why I gave up my turn is because it's a Muslim, so I mean I want him to get to her. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> what's, go ahead. Like CP said, what's best for business? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can go ahead. You think... It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, but can Rumble hear us right now? <laughs> I know. What's up, Rumble? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rumble. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, it's just like a really quick question because I have a Muslim friend who I love very much. He's very dear to me. I've known him since kindergarten. And it's really sad to grow up and see him get brainwa brainwashed by this man-made cult, you know. And I've been getting into religion. I've found my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> peace be upon him. But he doesn't need our peace. He's the Lord of Lords, you know. <laughs> right. But, um, yeah, I, I've debated him after watching a lot of Christian Prince's videos. And I really look up to him because he's very smart. And he helped me, and he helped me, um, you know, gain the knowledge so I can, you know, defeat my friend who's been learning about Islam and, you know, Christian polemics for the past 10 years. And I, you know, defeated him. Well, not not even you know learning for one year <laughs> and um glory to jesus amen, christ so. and glory to the father and the holy spirit amen the one true triune god amen. where i'm from um someone is asking me i am half danish and i'm half montenegrin wow so from like montenegro so what, what hadith were you looking for oh. to show them I'm sorry for the very filthy language, but I don't want to sound as narcissistic. But All this right. Is the, this is the sorry for of, that. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you yeah, hear me? go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. yeah, we can hear Christian you. Please. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, just can hear you. Let me see if I can. And then if you cannot speak my uh, okay, if you cannot speak, then it's better to hear this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, speak. Yeah, I hear you. It's not working. It's okay. Uh, okay. Yes, but then, okay. Then what do you mean to tell him? Wait, we can hear you. Wait, we can hear you. We can we can hear you. Please believe. Uh, we hear you fine. Mohammed is the best example for Muslims. Okay, but you can just take it up from there. Does it? Do they not know we can hear them? I I hear you very well. I'm talking about G man. I don't think they know we can hear them. Yeah, yeah, but in the meantime, yeah, well, CP, I'm just trying to. It seems like the audio is kind of low, so I'm trying to see if I can get it. It's, it's loud. fine for us, it's fine. The audio is fine. Don't can worry. I, can I please ask Christian Prince a question in the meantime? Uh, uh, we will just wait for the lady, you know, and they will, I, will, I will take you. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. But he's gone. Gmail is gone. All right, but we'll go ahead until they come back. Okay, go ahead. What do you what's your question? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I've been watching your videos for a long time, and I really look up to you, you know. And I defeated my friend. I don't <laughs> defeat it. I don't know how to say it. But um, I went over him in a debate, Glory to Jesus Christ, through the videos I've uh, watched, of, watched, you know, from your channel. Okay. And I just wanted to ask for the hadith about the Islamic he heaven with the endless, you know, penis and um, the swelling breast and the 72 virgins, all that filth, you know, I would be very happy yeah. if you could maybe send it through DMs to me. Well, they, they will post and it for you. I'm sure the admin will post it for you in the chat because we posted it for them. Please send it to DM. I'm sorry for uh, interrupting. But my friend, the chat is open. The chat will, is open. They will post the link. Just uh, take it and open it and save it. Yeah. You are, you are here. It's kind you of know. hard because... Why? The chat is open. They will post it for you. Just click at the link and open it. Why you want to make... Uh, you know, I, ha I have a lot of people asking me if to do things. If everybody, you know, like would do like a special thing, that's in this time, you know. So help me. Okay. They will, they will post it. Actually, I have it in Patreon. I have the link about the endless stuff. It's in Patreon. You can go. All right. Thank you. The link is there. Just to click on Patreon, you will find it. Thank you very much. Okay, we have. I just want to say that. Uh, really back, impression. by the way. Yeah, he's back. Gmail is back. Thank you. Thank you, Bubu. All right, uh, Gmail. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Hello? His mic is on, but I can't hear. Yeah, him. we hear nothing from you, G-Man. 
See the people that are posting you for the link about the endless private part. It's just there. Marcel is posting. Thank you, Marcel. Are you there, G-Man? Well, until he fix it. Uh, I mean, he's there, but like his mic is not making any sound. Yeah, like, yeah. It's on, but, oh, yeah. Oh, oh well. So until he figure it out, I'm gonna just ask my quick question. All right. Um, and then I'm gonna let you deal with him. Um, so like I said, I've been getting into debating Muslims, and I know like, of course, Muslims don't see this, but or they probably do, but us Christians easily see that they worship Muhammad instead of Allah, mm -hmm. right? And it was a verse that I seen, and I used it on a Muslim two days ago in your server. And of course, they try to explain everything away. Now, I don't know the Arabic, and I went on Quran.com, and it seems to be in my favor that I'm exegeting it correctly, but you you know more than me. Um, it's chapter 46, verse number 31. Okay. Um, when I look at it, it seems it seems to show that if you follow Allah's messenger, 40, the messenger 46, you said? Yeah, chapter 46, verse number 31. All right, go ahead. Um well so the problem is Rumble is on a delay, so it's kind of hard. So I can't really it doesn't have you bringing it up yet. But anyways, anyways, anyways. It seems to show that if you follow Allah's messenger, he will forgive your sins. And I want to know if you interpret it that way as well, because that's what it looks like to me. Maybe you could... Yeah, in Arabic, actually, in, in Arabic, it's very stupid. Yeah, you're right. Because in Arabic, it says, believe in him. You know, believe in him, not believe him. Believe... So, it's very stupid statement in Arabic, because if we say, believe in him, that means he is God. He is not a messenger of God. He is not wow. saying, in Arabic, he is not saying, believe him. You see, the Muslim translation here says, even actually, even Muslim translation says here in front of me, it says, and believe in him. Wow. Believe yeah. in him. Believe really? in him. Yeah. Uh, and then the Muslim, to fix it, if you notice in the verse, let me post for you the link. In order to fix it, the Muslim, they, uh, they say, believe that he, believe in him that he is a messenger of Allah. But this is not what the Arabic is saying, you know. Uh, you know, the, the Quran can add, the Quran can add that word, says, believe in him that he is Mashir of Allah. But it doesn't say that. It says, believe in him, you know. And if you believe in him... Uh, well, Sufi, I'm ready. Okay. I will be back to you, uh, I, if you don't mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll go with him and then uh, we'll continue. But okay. that was amazing with you. That was amazing. You're welcome, my friend. Okay, G-Man, go ahead. Thank you. 